uh, for anybody who wants to answer it. A uh, little bit of a tale of two halves. Seemed like you guys dominated first half, and then second half they made a move. Got say six to twelve threes, and uh, made it a little bit scary there at the end. Um, what 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 did you see as the difference in the halves? Uh, turnovers. Uh, we had like I don't, I don't know how many turn- turnovers that we had. I, was, I, don't, I just know we had ten in the exactly ten in the second half. When you do that, you can let that allow teams to get back in the game. Uh, we just got to do a better job of taking the ball. Myself, um, Culver, number one, four turnovers. I got to, I got to cut that down. Um, and we just, you know, we just got to take care of the ball better in the second half. Do you, this is for anyone of you guys. Do you think that uh, the turnovers or or what's causing you guys to not get fast break, easy bucks, buckets? Because it seemed like the second half, you were in the half court offense the entire twenty minutes. That's what it seemed like. Um, yeah, I think that also goes back to our defense. I think our def- uh, defense was a little – and that's also due to turnovers. You know, you turn the ball over and they get out in transition. You don't get time to set your defense back up. And I think that's one of the problems that we face coming in the second half and just ball security. Uh, that that really dictates a lot of your offense and your defense in the second half, and we just didn't have that tonight. Mario, you got back in the starting lineup, made six of nine shots, also had a couple turnovers. How did you feel out there? I felt great. Um just being able to hoop again with the guys um, and help the team win, most importantly. So, I mean, I have to cut down on the turnover so, um, if we have any chance of winning. So. Um, with the last two games being away, do you think being back in Poly um, affected your mental game tonight? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm one of the older guys here, so I know that my time is dwindling. Um, and how many games I have left in Poly Pavilion. So one of the things that I've been telling the guys is just, man, we just got to enjoy this last little stretch that we have um, and really just make the most of it and play our hearts out, do, do what we can to win, and really just embrace the moment and try to have as much fun as we can. I mean, I know uh, everybody's not too overly excited with how things went, but you still won the game. Mm-hmm. And a win, can we still leave here pretty pretty. I mean, I think when every time you get a win at this time of the year, you're, you can always uh, pat yourself on the back. I mean, we didn't play our best game, in, like we said, but um, to get away with the win um, it is good. Washington, we know it's coming in high. They were one four out of the last five. We knew we had a great opponent in them. Um, and like I said before, we're just we're just here trying to enjoy enjoy the moment. And like I said, anyone in Poly is a good one. Do you follow this record, this stretch that you on uh, winning home games? Does that resonate? Uh, I'm not going to speak on that. Uh, I'm going to knock on wood. Don't jinx anything. But, yeah. Any more questions for the players? Um, with them, Coach said that you and um, Amari have a really good connection with getting the ball to you. Um, How do you feel just playing with Amari and um, being able to work in the paint? Um, It's definitely fun. You know, um, since from high school, I've been, we've been looking up to um, playing together. Um, we, we met a couple of times in the camp and we were like, like talking about how it's going to be fun playing together, you know, um, and since we've been here, we, we were working on that, working on the connection, not just him, with the team, with Jaime, with Tiger, with Dave, everyone. Um, I feel like we have a pretty good bond and I think the chemistry is getting up there. I mean, in the second half, when I mean, the team's making a run, do you feel like you guys are getting a little bit tight? Uh... I think that, you know, when the teams go in the second half, they start making that run. I think that sometimes we get a little little bit stagnant on offense. Um, we try to sometimes just get the best shot possible rather than, you know, just an open good look. We're very, we're, we're, I think we're trying a little bit too hard to just try to get the best shot every time. And in a basketball game, you're not always going to get the best look every time. So when we're open, we just got to pull the trigger and shoot and trust in our hard work and trust that we're going to get the rebound. I think that's just one of the issues we're having right now. Um, just trying a little bit too hard to just be perfect on, on offense when, you know, if you have open shot, I think we, at this point in the year, you just got to take them. And I, I think that's something that we're going to look back in the film and see and hopefully uh, improve in the next game. Uh, Amari, your team busted out to a huge start to the game, went up 18 in the first half. At that point, did you think you were going to coast the rest of the way or what were your, what were your thoughts at that point? No, you know, um, coasting is never a part of the plan um, or any game plan of ours. Um, really just trying to, again, put together two great halves. And um, we didn't do that tonight. We still got the win, but that's never um, 
like going in my head like oh we're up 18 um it'd be good to double it to like 36 so 